Get that bankroll ready, boys. Bringing in the lavish goods here. In today's setup, my most expensive iPhone setup ever. This has become somewhat of a yearly tradition. And this time around, we got the gold rush going with the iPhone XS Max and an impressive set of hardware here from Great International. We've got some custom AirPods. I'd love to show you, of course, a very cool custom jailbreak setup as well with some very cool applications, tweaks I'll be getting into. And I'm doing a giveaway, first one in a while. I'll be giving away all four sets of these custom gold AirPods, two original, two series two, and I'll be doing two of them on Instagram, two of them on YouTube. All the details on that down below. This year in particular, I'm really loving the gold look. Everything is matched perfectly together. And usually I'd have a glowing Apple logo. Now this case doesn't allow for it. And this is as close as we got this year. So the glass, which we lasered through, like literally lasered the Apple logo out, is very fragile and cracks. The only one we got perfect was the Coral 10R, which I'll finish, hopefully we'll get it done. So here's the gray alter ego, a package full of pure opulence. Oh, I can feel the riches emanating. As always, it's a very, very cool packaging even. Aluminum, machined, magnetically. Oh, it's like radiating. Wow. Okay, I gotta say I'm impressed with the colors. It shines and it's on a beautiful platform. Go ahead and remove it and apply this case of the gods to my iPhone. The jailbroken setup will be getting the best of the best cases. So in case you don't want the black showing, you can replace it with the clear one, very cool. Wow, even a nice machined screwdriver in here as well, very cool. Luxuries to the max. This entire thing is made of machined titanium. Man, the luxury is it's impressive. So it doesn't feel like it, but this is worth two and a half thousand dollars. Just carrying this thing around, man, it's a liability for the case. It's worth more than your phone. On this goes with the black rubber and just like that, it's equipped. So there is that case. I got to tell you the luster, it's beautiful. I didn't expect it. I mean, it definitely doesn't match the gold of the iPhone, but should it? This needs to speak of the riches you paid for it. And this is number seven out of 100 right there. So they're all numbered. Thank you so much for providing me with number seven, lucky number seven. This looks great. Like it's all wrapping together very well. Of course, we've got the jailbreak running here and I'll get into the details here in a second. So of course, the glowing logo is no longer possible with this case. With their other Advent series, it closes off the sides and you can see that. Also, one thing I really love about this case is when you're holding the sides, you actually feel the phone, but the phone is protected. Like I'll tell you, if I drop this thing, which I have before, a different variant of the case, it protected it like a tank. And that's kind of the idea we had for our Rebel Series case, which I'll be launching in a few months here. And you're holding your phone, but everything is protected altogether. It's just a great feeling to hold the machine, but no, it's not at risk. All right, next up, I'll be taking a look at the AirPods and I wanna give a special thank you to Colorware that provided me with these. See, when I was planning this video, we were still trying to do the glowing logo. They sent me the first series and then AirPods 2 came out. So they sent me these as well. And now I have too many. So understandably, I'm giving them away thanks to Colorware. Let's take a look at the gold, how well it matches this setup. I have faith that it will fairly well. Ooh, okay. So this is more of a matte muted gold. And they do have, I believe, in the other box, a clear coated version, but I like it a lot. So honestly, matches pretty well. Like if you really want people to know that you're blinged out, this is the way to do it. And over here are the Space Gray AirPods that I was gifted from Colorware two years ago. They've held up fantastically. Everything looks great after heavy use. The whole casing looks good just right here. I mean, a little bit of chipping, but overall fantastic value. And ooh, okay, this is my instant favorite. I love this. This is more reminiscent of the actual AirPods, clear coated, feels great. This one almost feels uh, like one of the fakes, but not in a necessarily bad way, just I prefer, ooh, the Egyptian gold, the riches look. The luster is great. So this one I'd say matches better, just the shiny aspect of the gold AirPods. That's awesome. So thank you, Colorware. I'm loving how it's all tying together so far. Gold looks great. I did notice the richer gold here on AirPods 2. So it looks like they improved their process in between on the gloss option. For the AirPods, $339 to get this gold color. Not so bad. A variety of colors here that you can go from. Very cool. Now the Alter Ego series, 10S Max, 
$2,500 on the 10s, slightly less here, and it gets even worse or more expensive here with the Aurora series, $2,700 for an iPhone case. Let's go ahead and dive into that jailbreak setup. So starting from the lock screen, over here we have jumper that can take you straight into shortcuts that you set on your lock screen and small Siri, of course, up here. Definitely what Apple should have sure done in iOS 13. Over here we have Zen HTML with a custom lock screen widget and I'll name everything down below. Icon 8 or 2 on the home screen. It allows you to immediately actually change the order of your device, how many rows you want. Very, very cool. Of course, we have cylinder in beta, which brings back the page rotation animations. Down here, we have floating dock plus, which brings multitasking straight from the iPad to your iPhone. And of course, you can use different apps here. So drag those out to create another multitasking page. Every application is supported. Also, one of my all time favorites is nude keys, which allows you to create a gradient on your keyboard. Down here, we have bar emojis, which allows you to quickly shortcut certain type of emojis that you set, either the ones you use most recently or favorites. A feature for the life of me, I don't know why Apple hasn't added to iOS yet, is picture in picture here, which is possible with force in picture and UPIP here on the jailbreak. All of this stuff is only possible with the jailbreak, just so you know, and hopefully there will be one for iOS 13, because this really keeps the spirit of iOS alive. If you send a message, notice a mistake, you can stop it before it sends using whoops. And with a jailbreak, you can of course mimic iOS 13 features. With 13 HUD, you get the volume HUD ripped straight from iOS 13. And you can enable a dark mode, very similar to the one uh, UI element wise on iOS 13. Also what's enabling these really fast animations is animations be fast where this thing is supercharged. It's faster than an iPhone on iOS 13. And over here we have CC modules allowing you to have even more control center modules with shortcuts and many others. Also a very cool one is Airport 2 and Maple, which allow you to have custom animations for AirPods and this prompt up there. And basically it allows the same native setup with AirPods 2 on a jailbroken device. We have a variety of choices for the custom animation here. Look at that, there's one, Glitch Pods, one of my favorites. Here is another one. Jewel pods, in case you want to see where you're at. Oh, 68%, how nice. And we got the yellow, which somewhat matches the gold. It would be nice to see a gold one. It's just very cool what you can do with a jailbreak. Go above and beyond in customization. There's a reason Apple doesn't let you do this, but when you do, there's some really magical opportunities here. And I always prefer a minimalist jailbreak setup here. I do still have a daily iOS 13 device, beta five at the moment. So I can alternate between flex mode or utility mode over here. It's nice to have a choice for sure. And last thing I wanted to share is Air Unleashed, which is an air power clone. It's to fill the gap that air power never provided. This is the same version, literally the same version that I reviewed a long time ago, just with their branding stamp on it. Huh? Well, that's a swindle. Of course, this case does not support wireless charging, unfortunately. Also a very cool one is Maple, which brings the custom interface from AirPower back to the iPhone along with the animations. Very neat. The glory days that never were on my iPhone. And of course, how can I forget color flow? One of my all time favorite jailbreak tweaks, which allows you to conform the background of the music application to the album art that you're playing. It works fantastically well. And Mitsuha down here is the visualizer, which gives you that very cool animation down below. Of course, works from the lock screen as usual. And just an all around perfect setup, man. I think this is amazing. I can't wait for the iOS 13 jailbreak if it does come. And this right here is the Galaxy S10 variant of the Advent series with a lot more manageable cost at $700. It's very sleek. I think more streamlined than the iPhone series. It's no easy task to machine titanium, the metal of the gods. And there's a color to match the wrap, one potentially on the iPhone 11 in the future. Man, that's, that's a combo, killer combo made in heaven. And if you guys really want to go over the top, here's the Zyra series, also from Greater National. This is complete luxury protection for your MacBook Pro 13 inch carbon fiber sheets plus aluminum machining. Very impressive engineering from a thousand to two thousand dollars and matches the gold setup here. Now you could have five thousand dollars in your pocket or you could have this really cool looking setup which may or may not be, but it is ridiculously expensive. The iPhone alone, plus the case, plus this equals over $5,200 in a tax bearing stay, about $4,700 in one without. And there it is guys, the most expensive and lavish setup ever. No, not for everyone, but if you want it, I think personally, like it can't possibly get any better than this. And yeah, our cases are coming soon guys. I just wanna say for everyone waiting, 
This will deliver pretty much the comfort and durability, not quite, but pretty close of this one on a much cheaper scale. And we'll have more details on that in the coming few weeks. So thanks for watching guys, peace.